Hi you guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallulah and I am here for a video for Hashtag Love Summer Earth. Yay! <clears throat> As you know, that is running from July 17th to the 20th and it is videos by artists and crafters and anybody creative who joined in and to get YouTube to recognize the art and craft community. So it all you have to do just to play along and help push that out there is put some blogs out if you want to. You can post, make playlists, and to find the videos, all you have to do is just go up to your search box and put in hashtag love summer art. Hashtag love summer art. And already you will see a ton of videos that are popping up all over YouTube to say, hey, we're here. We're crafters and creators and we're proud of it. All right, so the set theme this month was summer, and I have done my summer safari junk journal. Now, I will also have two other videos to load up this weekend under the Love Summer Art hashtag, so I hope to see you in those videos as well. So let me go ahead and get started, because as you can see, it's a chunky mother, right? <laughs> Okay, so here is my junk journal. Of course, you know, I love making it out of old books. So it is an old book cover. And it is actually an old Reader's Digest. And I loved the colors and the striping. And it just screamed like safari and travel and the grass and stuff like that. So there was this part. Now, um, on the front, you will see that I have a map dimensional sticker. And then an elephant. I love elephants. And it's one of those puffy stickers, which is pretty cool. So it's like a puffy elephant sticker. And then one of these clear stickers that says wisdom. So you can see the front cover. Um, I punched a hole in the front cover. And I still want to do something to jazz that up a little bit. But I punched a hole in the front cover and in the back cover here to create a tie that has two <clears throat> strands on each one to close it. So I'm going to just go ahead and open that up for you like that. Same binding. Okay. And then the spine of the book. I had to remake the spine because, as you see, it is a huge book. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven signatures in it, hand sewn in. Um, I used this animal print tape that I had over some uh, chipboard to make the spine. I put in a grommet. Okay. And then I added this chain, which also has a charm that says wonder. Which is so cool. Tim Holtz. Somebody gave me this and I don't know who it is, so I'm sorry. And then this is a ring from Tuesday morning. Okay. So that's the spine and the outside and the covers. So then let me go ahead and go inside so you can see this big bertha of a book. <laughs> My summer safari. Okay. So inside is here. <clears throat> this was the green that was on the cover and I like that so I left that there. Here's some peacock paper and I used DCWV safari stack with a pocket. This is some color box paper. Color book actually. This one. And I did some tea dyeing. Had some tea dye paper left in my stash, so I put that in here. And I put this lovely vellum. It's like a sky vellum on there. Mm. This is some more. This is some yummy textured cardstock. Then I had a bunch of these like K and Company um, and I can't remember who this is, but all these tags. And so I made pockets out of some of them. So let's glue down so this becomes pocket. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep, like that. And then let's just glue down. And there's an envelope here that I tea dyed. And inside I have this piece of suede paper. Um, it's just lovely. You can see it here. And then some animal prints here. And I tied some twine, uh, some of this fun fur onto some of my paper clips. On the inside here is this tag that is paper clipped in. Let me show you this up close. It has some fibers and a reinforcer. I had some of these travel stickers. And then I got these 
awesome zebra print dimensional pieces. Um, these are some Tim Holtz cards right here. So I glued that down on the tag to make another tuck spot and put that in there. I don't know, when I think of Safari, I think of those old timey, you know, the 1930s. And they probably didn't, I don't know. But I think of them sitting in those white tents <laughs> with <laughs> their little hats and everything on there. And there's another one of those stickers. Let me show you the sticker. Isn't that cute? So like the Taj Mahal, I think, yeah. And then some more leathery paper. So it's a safari travel theme type. I had some rub-ons. So I put this rub-on here. And I used up a lot of product, so that was cool. And then these little tags that were in that. Some airmail stamping. <clears throat> this is an envelope to put things in. Here's another one of those like little travel ephemera tags and I put that on this flap with some cameras, old time cameras, luggage, some washi tape, makes it look journaly to me, some more tea dyed paper. And then of course this Tim Holtz a hot air balloon that looks vintagey and grungy. So I put that in here. Stamped it on that vellum. Tea dyed paper. Remember that? Remember that? Another pocket. Then over here, I put another one of those cutouts and then some tags that go under here. And I just love these, um, these little zebra dots. So, and as you can see, dimensional. And this was a, I want to say Tim Holtz paper, but I'm not sure. And then I glued on a playing card. And then this is just like restaurants. So that fit in there to me. Just put that in there. Then a little pocket and some more paper here I just love it and then honey man he had gotten me um like a photorealistic animal one so I put that in here and then this is I mean this is the kitchen sinks ladies and gentlemen it's kitchen sink <laughs> and then I had this is American crafts or something like that they had a no it's not it's can company these pieces so it's a train on here old timey some more of those dots African safari scene and then I had this old paper um, had this paper for like 10 years literally if not longer um, probably longer because I had it before I met Honeyman and it's like a handmade type of paper with Harlequin dots and then over top is a Union Pacific stamp some tea dye paper and I tend to write in my journals for those people who want to know I write in them so I have a lot of space for writing and maybe gluing on some stuff these old cameras it's funny because I have a camera that sort of looks like that another stamping with the Tim Holtz oh, it's just awesome darlings a little tuck spot here and it has these two that say culture and customs and adventure Gotta love that. Okay. So I do hope you guys are all enjoying this adventure of the hashtag my summer art. <clears throat> because that's just an amazing idea to get everybody on board. And I have some more of these rub ones. This one says Bermuda. Here's another one of these uh, little ephemera pieces from the pack. And uh, I put on the Virgin Islands and stuff here. These are rub ones. You can see that, and then two Tim Holtz tags that I just turned over, so you would have the plain side showing. Safari, love this, and then <clears throat> here's another one of those pieces, and then I put some dimensional stickers on them. Love that, and on the back it has more travely travel stuff um, have passport will travel <laughs> there's a little hot air balloon I love these clear epoxy stickers and then I had some of these from K and company they're really tiny so you probably can't see that very well and this is actually a tuck spot page as well so you can tuck something in here behind this card and then you can tuck something there as well so that was fun to put together. Another one of these with a tag and some puffy stickers. Love it. 
and script. You can't have a junk journal without a script page or at least a stamp. <laughs> there you go. And then this vellum, I had this piece in there. So this is a rub on. So I did that one to this cloud paper, which I love. Makes it look like it's sailing off. Some more stamps on tea dyed paper. There's another one. Luggage looking with a luggage tag here. Can you see that? I mean, this thing is huge, you guys. Huge. So I'm hoping to get through so you have enough time to watch everyone's videos. <coughs> Excuse me. I love this paper. Uh, Tim Holtz card in that. A pocket. Love this paper. This is some more of that handmade paper. Um, those dots. Love them. Some more of that paper in green. On the other side, this looked very tribal to me. Go with the African Safari Travel. I don't know why this is in here. <laughs> Some more of that Bella paper. A rose is not exactly traveling type to me. Another pocket and a tag. Zebra print. This tag just has a travel sticker on it and some furbies down here. I put some more of those dots. I just stuck those out the book because I wanted to use up that package. So Shiles, I'm going to give her a shout out here. <laughs> Honey, I used up tons of packaging stuff on this thing. And then here's a piece here with some more tags in it. The nightmare travel, don't forget to pack and so forth. So I stuck those in here and then this page is like that. And this is my journal, so I wanted to put in papers that I liked. I used one of these pieces as a tuck spot, and those tickets are just plain. Some more here. Here is a card to stick in there. Some brown paper there. The beachy sand. <laughs> this I have to put in there. It is not travel related, but you know, helps me to remember. Don't worry, everything will be okay. Because I tend to be a warrior. Because uh, oh, I think about all the scenarios and crap. It's just ridiculous. Here's a pocket on a pocket. Love that. And elephants, you guys. I love elephants. I love them. I love them. I love them. That should be my next crochet project is an elephant. And then here is this page with a big old elephant. Love that paper. And another tag with a travel sticker. And those were dollar store, I believe. Dollar store too stickers used up that pack uh a map with the tim holtz air balloon i put on there there's that union pacific stamp again um, place for a tag tuck spot oh well those are some little things i say treasure I love this journal. This one I got from someone. I don't know who I got this stamp from. I want to say it was Fran. And I wish I knew because I like that so I could get another one. And I made it into a tuck spot. This one, I love this page too. Map. And then we've got some binoculars on this sticker here. And then this is perfect because it's one of those clear epoxy stickers. So you got the little airplane flying across the map. This reminds me of like Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh my gosh, stamping. Another one of these Im clear epoxies immigration sticker. I can't see the counter. Let me show you. The immigration sticker. Love it. I used up this, most of that set. So Shiles, I was throwing stuff away left and right making this. Mm -hmm. Darling. She had a challenge back in December for December daily with that. So here is a tag. I just put one of those little things onto it. And this was a tag. I want to say it came from Fran. <coughs> More rub ons than I had in my stash. So I used this whole pack of rub ons. There it says journey. This one says travel. Don't you just like that paper? It's so cute. It's so cute. And then another tag here with hot air balloon. And back there's another stamp stamping. This one just has the Tim Holtz card and then this tag. Love that. Tea dyed paper. And then we come to the other half of that paper. This is um, 
Ooh, Bright for 45. I got that from Bori. Graphic 45 right there. Some more script. Washi tape down here. This is another one of those where I put, this is the color of a paper, um, envelope, not envelope, paper clips with some fringe and then a tag that is a tag and a tag and a tag. So the whole thing is a tag. Then you have here, put an epoxy sticker. Then on the front, you have this piece that is folded up to create a pocket. And then this piece is glued on to create a pocket there. So it's a tag with tags. <laughs> And just slide that back in and then this is an old stamp and I gave this stamp away and I'm so mad at myself for doing it and that cute it's a koala <laughs> and then I wrote this was from 2012 right here and I had this little piece that I wrote based on something else in the back but it fit in with the, the theme and the coloring and here's this and this we are almost done I told you this is a big Bertha <laughs> Oh, there's some stamping, but I love making junk journals, and I've been wanting to make this one for a long time, so perfect, perfect. Love this page, too. As you can see, it's got a lot going on on this spread. Love it. I used a tag to create a belly band type space with some more of these um, K & Company travel tags in there. The piece of eyelash trim, fun fur, whatever. And then this is a button that I loved from a Cosmo Cricut pack. So I put that on there. Love that page. And then here on this side, we've got a pocket. And then we have a tag that is not your traditional shape, so to speak. But here's the tag here. And then I have a Tim Holtz card sticking out. And then on the other side is one of those travel stickers. It's got a bag with some stuff in it. A little wild and free. And then another Tim Holtz. <clears throat> so love that. More of those things. Little stickers. There's envelope that he died. Another one. Love that. Ah little piece with a Tim Holtz thing here to use as a pocket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stamping here once again. This is a an ephemera piece glued down to use as a pocket. And this tag, I had made this literally 10 years ago. And it was sitting in my stash. And I'm like, huh, there you go. And so then I made this tag with some more of the Tim Holtz. And it's got the card and a tag in it as well. <laughs> so it's a tag with a tag and those dots and on the back it's that color. So just stick that in there. Awesomeness, right? Awesomeness. Oh, zebra print, I love this page too. Zebra, 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 zebra. There's a, side, a tag used as a side pocket here. Mm -mm -mm. And then a piece of a Tim Holt card stamped on. And then this one is just double-sided. Stuffed in there with some twine, tea dyed paper. Here's another rub on. This is Caribbean. Here my honey is from the Caribbean. So, and there's that. And then we got our finished babies. Yeah. Little giraffe I, uh, rub on. Packing envelope flap. This is another rub on that says Dominican. Dominica actually. And then your last piece. And that is my jumbo, huge jumbo seven signature summer safari journal.